everybody, welcome to the Sage Centaurus channel. For those of you who have been here before, welcome back. Thank you for having patience with me. <laughs> we have another pick up pile reading here. Today we're going to be looking at what is coming up in the month of September 2022. So we're going to look at tarot, um, we'll pull some clarifiers, and then we'll get some advice from the spirit um, so that we can see what's coming up here. Um, go ahead and decide which pile you are most drawn to. Pause the video if you need to. Um, for those of you that like to choose with crystals, this is rose quartz, this is Lemurian seed, and this is a smoky quartz. Um, so yeah, just take your time, pick the pile or piles you are drawn to most, and then you can go on down to the description box and pick your timestamp, and I will meet you in your reading. See you there. Hi Pile 1, welcome to your reading. You guys selected this gorgeous Rose Quartz Sphere, which is actually available in the shop. And the She-Wolf Tarot, which is also available in the shop. Details on how to get to the shop are down below in the description box if you want to go check that stuff out. Um, okay, so we're going to take a look at what is coming up for you in the month of September 2022. Um, we'll go ahead and get into the tarot right away. We'll start shuffling and then we'll get some clarifiers as needed and get some advice from Spirit. And for those of you who are interested in booking a private reading with me, I do offer those. We can do a pre-recorded or a live Zoom reading, um, whatever you want to do. The pricing is the same and details on how to book that are down below in the description as well. Okay, what is coming up in the month of September 2022 for Pile 1 Spirit? Pile 1, September 2022. What is coming up for Pile 1 in September 2022? We're going to do a Celtic cross, but it's going to look modified just due to space constraints. Okay. Pile 1, September 2022. What do we need to know? Divine Masculine, the Emperor, the, the Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. All right, so for the Quirant, we've got Lust, which is Strength. Crossing the Quirant is the Two of Cups. Up in the Mind, Three of Swords. basis of the situation is the Four of Swords, Near Future is the Queen of Swords, Past is the Knight of Swords, a lot of swords here, <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles is in Attitudes, Environment is Death, Hopes and Fears, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Cups in the Outcome with the Devil. Okay. So it looks like um, We're trying to get our bearings here after what looks like could be a breakup or something. And we're working on healing and like moving on from this um, situation. Uh, perhaps this was like very abrupt um, or you guys have like an argument or it's just exchanged some really harsh words. Uh, maybe, um, but it looks right, like right now, like we're kind of just focused on 
rest, recuperation, healing, and getting our strength back. Um, but I see that we're still kind of thinking about um, a relationship. So this might even be thoughts of maybe doing a rebound um, or thinking about the past relationship as well. Um, and with the Knight of Pentacles here, it's kind of like um, we're looking for something like more solid and stable. Like the attitude is like we have a lot to offer. We have a lot of stability to offer. Like we have earthiness, groundedness to offer. Um, and I think like outside of this situation, like you're still in a good place regardless like in your life, like you're still doing okay. It's just like this looks like some kind of really painful situation um, that you're currently dealing with at the moment. Um, coming up, we have the Queen of Swords, so it looks like you're going to start setting some boundaries maybe getting a little bit more clarity on the situation, maybe getting your independence back here, or feeling like you're starting to get back on your feet, um, and maybe even thinking about getting out into the world and seeing what other opportunities are out there as far as dating goes. Um, but I do see um, that you might still uh, have some trouble letting go of the relationship a little bit um, with the Five of Cups here and the outcome, just kind of looking back and focusing on that um, and maybe having regrets about what happened. Um, feeling like there's some kind of void there. Um, but the, the good news about the Five of Cups is that there are, you know, there's still a few cups remaining, right, that are, have not spilled over in a sense. Um, but we're focusing on what was lost. So we need to shift perspective um, here it looks like um, we're just gonna have some trouble shifting perspective through the month of September um, perhaps there's a feeling of fear there um, with kind of letting go and moving on perhaps you're just like <sighs> I just see like there might be like an over focus on the person or the relationship here um, making it really really hard to let go and move on maybe there's some karmic ties that you guys had uh, or have that make it particularly difficult to move on here um, but i just see that uh, like they're taking up space in the mind that um that you can like uh free up for something else like they're just kind of like eating up your time, eating up your thoughts, their energy here. Um, so even though we do have boundaries up, maybe we're trying to, to move on here. It just looks like we're just having some trouble letting go here um, towards the end of September, um, even though you might be feeling better towards the middle um, and even possibly looking at new opportunities coming up. Maybe you're just not gonna really find anybody that you're looking for, but maybe you're also too gonna be like, trying to find this person and the other people that you might be dating. Um, so there's this energy of like needing to just kind of completely let go of this situation and move forward the best that you can here. Let's get some clarifiers for you on a few of these cards here. Spirit, we need some clarifiers. We're going to use the Way Home Tarot for clarifiers, which is also available in the shop. Um, let's get a clarifier on the Two of Cups. Okay, Spirit, please clarify.
daughter of cups so maybe this was like a new relationship that started to get off the ground a little bit um or but it didn't like get very far but for whatever reason like you feel really connected in with this person maybe it's some kind of like a false start or something um Let me get one more. Ten of Wands. Maybe it was just like there was like a lot of heat um, between the two of you, and it like it was a lot of passion. It kind of got there was like a lot of attraction, um, and maybe it just fizzled out really fast. Um, and there's this energy of emotional maturity too, and like burnout. So maybe this person like couldn't give you what you need um emotionally and maybe you were like carrying the weight of that um maybe starting to feel like a little dragged down by it but this energy of like dedication to the relationship but it just looks like something happened where like this came to an end here with the three of swords so please clarify the three of swords spirit high priestess Maybe this person ghosted you um, or just got really quiet or um, is having trouble opening up and having trouble like sharing their deep emotions. So maybe they ran away. They were afraid to go a little bit deeper. Because so I feel like this person feels deeply, but they're not sharing that with you. I'm not telling you how they feel. And if you didn't break up, maybe the relationship is just kind of not in a good place. And you're feeling like stuck and hurt we have the hierophant yeah so maybe not like feeling like it's not progressing past like these initial stage the initial stages here um looking for that commitment and feeling like at a loss just because like you're not getting it and this person maybe feels like they're not opening up to you um here okay Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. One more, please. Ace of Cups. So maybe you feel like you have been like very upfront, transparent, like kind of put your feelings on the table at least a little bit more than this other person has. Like you've been consistent and stable in your message and your emotions here. Um, and something in the environment is changing. What is, please clarify that. What is that doing here in the environment? of swords so it's like something's coming to an end here and maybe maybe the relationship is like on its way out maybe we're just kind of moving past it and trying to move on um, because we just feel like it's not giving us what we need um, maybe this person's not communicating properly um, maybe they're afraid to open up afraid to share their feelings here um, but something needs to change here, um, and I feel like walking away or separating from this relationship is, like, where things are headed here if they're not already there at that place. Um, so let's get one more clarifier here on the five cups. Spirit, please clarify the Five of Cups. The 
cool. Wanting to take a fresh, have a fresh start, but maybe feeling a little bit held back by emotions here and just kind of like disappointed in like how things like went down. Um, but I see that we're still open to a fresh start or maybe looking for a fresh start with this person. Let's get more cards. Please clarify the five of cups. Eight of Cups, wanting to move on. I feel like that's moving on from this person. I'm just moving on maybe from that energy of disappointment. And you know, the devil could also be us being selfish here. Um, kind of choosing ourselves over the relationship. Choosing to, what makes us happy. Um, and walking away. I just feel like there might be like, like this might linger on the mind a little bit. You guys might have to have like some karmic ties or maybe you just went through, maybe this is a karmic relationship even though it looks like it was like, it didn't like last very long or get very far, but maybe it was like really, really intense. Um, and we blew through it really quickly and it's kind of just like lingering on the mind a little bit. Maybe like sad to see it go because it was so passionate and fiery. Okay, please clarify the devil. But I do see you kind of deciding to move on here. Um, choosing yourself, like being more logical about it. Um, and maybe feeling like there was some like there was an issue with control, like either this person was overly controlled or controlling um, over you. Um, but I see it as like, they, the emperor is not the best with feelings either. So I think that this person was just like, this person maybe has a problem opening up um, and uh, so it's like, maybe you felt like the passion and the heat, but they weren't talking about their feelings. So it's like, I can identify with that, like um, from past relationships, you know, it's like, you can tell how somebody feels about you, even though they're like um, saying something else um, or telling you something that's like the opposite. Like you can just kind of, you can feel how somebody feels about you sometimes, even when they're like trying to hide it. So I feel like that's like, maybe you were like really frustrated because you're trying to move this along, be honest and like clear about your feelings here, kind of put that on the table and it's just feeling like this person just couldn't get their ish together. Um, maybe uber controlled, um, just like kind of not budging. And so I see you choosing to walk away, but I feel like it's just kind of bothering you because you feel like there was something more there that just like couldn't manifest because this person couldn't open up to the, level, to the level you needed them to. And we have the devil at the bottom of the deck here. And you know, the Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck too. And that is F boy energy to me, like very like hedonistic, selfish, kind of like doing what you want, very passionate, um, but more of like a playboy, it doesn't have to be a guy, but more of a playboy type of energy, playboy, playgirl. Um, you know, just kind of thinking about their own wants and needs here. So I feel like this person, um, I honestly feel like they were just more focused on satisfying their own needs than maybe opening up Emotionally, maybe they're incapable of doing that. Maybe there is a lack of emotional maturity here as well with the Daughter of Cups. I think that they do have some deeper feelings, but commitment was a problem here and opening up is a problem here. So I think that, you know, I see you moving on, I see you making a decision to move on and that's, I think, the best decision for you. Um, but I think that this might kind of linger in your mind a little bit like, it just might take a minute to get over it, but I see you moving in a, a better direction here. Okay, so let's get some advice from Spirit to move through this. Advice for pile one, please. Okay, 
like the Knight of Wands is very like non-committal. Okay. Advice for pile one, please. Inhale, exhale. So focus on breathing and healing. Just like get your bearings, kind of calm your mind, focus on meditation, maybe do like some yoga or meditation, like classes, meetups, whatever, to kind of like just help you move through the energy and move that energy out. Um, so breathe in something fresh, breathe out the past, breathe out these experiences that you've had to kind of like help let go of them. Clarity of mind. So focus on getting clarity however you can um, and flushing out stagnant energies that need to get out, maybe getting yourself into physical movement um, will help kind of move those energies out. That's just an intuitive read that I randomly got, so that'll only be for some of you. Um, begin again. Okay, so good. So focus on a fresh start, a new beginning. Um, I feel like we are stepping away from this person. I honestly don't see you like wanting to give them another chance. I just do see you kind of wondering about things. Um, I'm just gonna take a minute to kind of move on from this energy, but begin again is coming up. So your fresh start is coming in here towards the end of September. So don't worry, if you feel like things are kind of like stuck and weird with this person now, um, just know that you're gonna be able to move on um, and move on to something that fulfills you. Move on to something that makes you feel better and loved and cherished and appreciated and um, something that you deserve. Okay, and then little by little is at the bottom of the deck here. So take your time, don't push yourself, don't force yourself, don't beat yourself up. Little by little you will move on from this. Um, don't worry about it. Um, don't worry if it's taking time. Just give yourself space to move through this energy um, here and to let go of things little by little, however you can. Let's get a couple of oracle cards here, more oracle cards here for any additional messages that wanna come through for you, pile one. Spirit, any additional messages for pile one? Focus on what lights you up, what makes you happy. Maybe pick up some new hobbies or kind of try some new things that maybe you've been thinking about, some creative projects, stuff like that. Um, I know when I chase down my passions, I kind of forget about everything else. So that might just help you get some clarity as well as to kind of like shift your focus to kind of what really drives you, what lights you up. In more of a creative sense, like don't, bog yourself down and like work like do something that like makes you feel like creative generative and like um you're making something like happen something that you really want to happen not just like an assignment but something that like drives you something that makes you excited any other messages for pile one blind so honestly if you feel like you're tempted to look at this person's social media or whatever maybe um, you know if it's gonna help you move on to maybe just block um, but I feel like um, looking away from the situation is gonna help you move on so However you're tied to this person and you're trying to move through this energy, if that's what you decide to do, if you do decide to move on, obviously everything is up to you. Do what's best for you. Um, but just kind of work on not looking at them, not looking at their energy um, as much as you can. If somebody brings them up, just change the topic. <laughs> 
and then gratitude. So be grateful for the things that you do have. Gratitude is always going to raise your energy as well. Be happy that you came out of this. You know, maybe if this was like a newer relationship and it didn't get very deep, just be happy that it ended where it did, if that's what's happening. Um, but just kind of be happy also to rejection is divine protection as well. So if you feel rejected or anything by this person, don't worry about it. Be thankful because a new, a new better beginning is coming for you. Um, so take that leap of faith if you've been feeling like taking that leap of faith, if that makes sense for you to move on. I just see you wanting to move on to find out what fulfills you. Um, so focus on gratitude, focus on finding your fulfillment and try to focus on pulling your energy and attention away from the situation um, to help yourself move on. And then we have the world at the bottom. So complete change of level up is coming in here, healing as well. So um, maybe you guys closed out some kind of like karmic cycle by choosing to um, kind of move through this energy the speed that you did like instead of like sticking around and suffering if you choose to move on maybe you're closing out a karmic cycle where maybe you would have stuck with somebody like this in the past um so you're getting a level up here you're moving i see change here coming in change here coming in and change here so um and rainbows rainbows so i feel like you're moving on to a better place so don't worry don't get stuck or bogged down um in the sadness um, obviously, you want to feel your feelings and process everything. So just don't ignore your feelings, but don't like seek out um, triggers or anything about this person. Just try to like pull your energy back into yourself and move forward here because your level up is coming at the end of September here, it looks like. Some change is coming in for you in a good way. Okay, pile one, this is where I'm going to leave your reading. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if it resonated, I would love if you left a comment down below or like the video or both. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, again, if you'd like to book me for a private reading, details on how to do that are down below in the description. Um, and if you're interested in any of these decks, except for this one, because this is sold out for a while, um, they're all available in the shop. Um, sagesandtaurus.com links are down below in the description as well same as these, as these crystals are all available as well <laughs> so enough plugs i hope you guys feel better i wish you all the best and put yourself first and i will see you in your next reading bye bye hi pile two you guys selected this beautiful lemurian sphere and the True North Tarot. Um, both are actually available in the shop if you're interested. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get into the tarot. I'm gonna do a Celtic cross and it's gonna be modified layout um, just due to space. Um, so if it looks a little different, that's why. Um, for those of you who are looking for a private reading, information on how to book that is down below in the description box as well as the link to the shop. So let's take a look at what is coming up in September 22 for you, Pile 2, and we're going to be looking at tarot, get some clarifiers as needed, and then we'll get some advice from Spirit if so there's any other messages that want to come through for you. What is coming up for Pile 2, September 2022? Pile 2, September 2022. We've got the Nine of Coins, the Page of Swords, 
and the seven of coins, which is pentacles. Okay, so for the querent for you, pile one, we have the six of cups. Crossing the querent is the six of wands. Up in the mind is the page of cups. Basis is the nine of cups. Just make sure we're still on. Near future is death. Past is the two of coins, two of pentacles. Uh, the tower and attitudes. Environment is the eight of coins. Hopes and fears, eight of wands. And the outcome is the magician. Nice. Okay. I really know I have space. Okay, and then again, seven of coins at the bottom of the deck. Let's get into it. So it looks like we're trying to find some balance here. Um, in the past, in the recent past, um, maybe kind of like looking at work-life balance. <sighs> Just trying to like maybe pull some more things into the fold and slowly kind of <sighs> figure out a way to function in a more balanced and even keeled way here, maybe possibly deciding on two different things. We have the Nine of Cups in the basis of the situation. So feeling emotionally fulfilled on your own. Um, what you're doing is bringing you happiness and joy in the moment. Um, but I also see here uh, Six of Cups is energy of nostalgia crossed by the Six of Wands. This energy of like ego and winning and being looked up to and celebrated, um, like awards, recognition here coming in. Um, so maybe this energy of nostalgia regarding like a time in the past where you felt like really appreciated and celebrated. Um, or it could just be wanting to, yeah, like kind of wanting to get back into that energy again or like looking for that energy again. Um, looking for things to just kind of like flow naturally um, maybe where like things feel a little bit more effortless, which can come in with balance as well. Um, it's like, I feel like we're in a good spot. We're just trying to like tweak a few little things here, um, in the month of September. Up in the mind is the Page of Cups, so either a new romantic interest or some kind of creative opportunity here that maybe you have to learn a little bit more about or it's like just in the beginning stages. Um, it's kind of on the mind here. Maybe it's this thought of like, I feel good on my own here. Um, you know, I'm doing well. Maybe it's time that I share myself with another person and maybe open myself up to romance a little bit. Um, I feel like with the tower here um, and the eight of coins, like maybe there's been a recent change in the energy around you, like, or a recent change in your life that um, is kind of like starting to settle, the dust is starting to settle now, um, or maybe, maybe you had this like huge like um, flash of clarity or insight as well, um, but I just see like a shift in perspective, seeing things in a new way. Um, something in your environment happened in an un unexpected way or something in your life happened in an unexpected way and um, it gave you a little bit more insight and clarity here. Um, it's like plus two with the tower and attitudes. It's like kind of like wanting to shake things up a bit as well in your life. And I see the energy of change coming in here with death. Um, 
in the environment is the eight of coins so you might be really really busy with work um, or projects coming in maybe people are starting to see your talents and reach out to you more um, especially with the six of wands here um, maybe you're looking for like with the six of cups looking for more time for romance or you know just time to like spend with somebody new that might be on your mind but it's like this energy of work coming in here to the picture um, so kind of wanting to like shake things up a bit here with the tower um, and kind of go after like what you want switch up the energy a little bit and I see a major transformation coming in here, kind of moving away from old patterns, old things that um, may have held you back in the past, things that you've outgrown, kind of leaving your comfort zone a little bit here with the death energy to welcome fresh energy in. Um, but it looks like some kind of major change is coming forward in um, the energy here in your environment. And I think that it's something that you're actually pushing for. Um, here with the tower um, maybe some sort of realization has come in like oh my gosh I work too much and I need time for you know romance how can I fit this all in maybe you are looking at trying to balance this stuff in the past here um, and then we have the eight of wands kind of like really deciding to go after what you're passionate about here and kind of starting to write your own story here with the magician and really building things out and designing things um, the way that you really want them to be maybe feeling like a little bit more in control of things and like maybe not just like going with the flow of like work and um, choosing to be busy with that um, but kind of more like picking and choosing like where you want to put your energy and how you want your world to look and how you want to design your life here um, maybe even feeling some intuitive pulls working with the universe a little bit co to co-create um, and maybe that is to kind of like write this romance in because maybe you don't have it looks like you just might not have enough room for it at the moment um, so it's like maybe we need to create some space to create balance in this area and it looks like you're trying to do that here so let's get some clarifiers for pile two Especially with the seven of coins at the bottom of the deck, where do I want to invest my energy? It's like wanting to invest in something that's like stable and prosperous for the long term. But maybe that's just not only work. Maybe that's also like having a family. Okay. Putting your energy towards creating abundance. Okay, Spirit, can we please get clarifiers for pile two? Spirit, please clarify the Page of Cups. Fortune. So maybe you met somebody recently um, and it feels like almost faded in a way. Um, and maybe it's like something you weren't planning for it just kind of like showed up on your doorstep like oh my gosh this person is like everything i've been looking for um and when the wheel of fortune presents upright that means things are turning in our favor things are going in a good direction it could be a new karmic cycle or it could just be you know um a brand new chapter so it looks like um though it looks like something that was faded especially with fortune here like something that was meant to be something that came into your life perhaps this is new romance then um coming in here or maybe a new something new that just kind of lights you up emotionally like it gets your heart to start start to want to open up well, let's get another clarifier on the page of cups ten of pentacles so that's the energy of like uh, prosperity and abundance, like having everything you need, loving everything you have, maybe this energy of like family, stability, um, like top shelf lifestyle, <laughs> um, leveling up here a little bit. Um, so maybe you met somebody that kind of feels like your forever person. Um, 
somebody that you really feel strongly about, strongly drawn to, maybe they seem like a good investment to you, um, like worth pursuing here. Um, like you definitely see their value, their value stands out. But you definitely, I think, see something long-term with this person. I think that you are very drawn to them. Like maybe you weren't even like looking for romance and it just kind of popped up and you were like, oh damn, this is like who I've been looking for. Okay. Get a card on the Six of Cups. Please clarify the Six of Cups. The Devil in Reverse. So maybe like, maybe we're feeling like we got over a past situation um, that maybe was toxic, um, or that was tough to get over, um, for us, too, especially with the Six of Wands crossing the Six of Cups and, like, breaking the chains of the devil here, like, a past person that wasn't meant to be somebody that, um, maybe seemed like they were meant to be for us forever, but they, it turned out that they weren't, and maybe it was just, like, a toxic karmic relationship there. Um, but maybe feeling like you finally made some progress here and moving on from this situation. Like the nostalgic thoughts are going away, like um, reminiscing or thinking about this person is moving away. And I think that whoever is coming in here, this new person is kind of like this is just naturally falling away as a result. But I, obviously I think that you have been working on trying to find balance and to move past this energy and maybe throwing yourself into work a little bit to do that. But it looks like the energy of this past person, um, if that's what this is, because usually Six of Cups is like energy of the past, like a romantic kind of energy, um, nostalgic, is kind of falling away here. The chains are breaking down um, and we're kind of like, opening up ourselves to new love here. Okay, let's get a clarifier on the tower. But I think that we're like happy where we're at now with the Nine of Cups and it's like we're ready to kind of share that with another person. Okay, the Strength card. Maybe feeling like more in control of your life, maybe having like a realization that, um, say if this was a relationship in the past and it was like really weighing on you and kind of maybe a devastating situation, like realizing that that ending of there was like for the better. Um, and feeling like you're in a good place now to move forward, like kind of understanding that Sometimes things just don't work out and maybe seeing the positive aspects of um, maybe this, maybe it was like a surprising breakup too um, with the tower here. But there's some sort of realization coming in here where you like all of a sudden have clarity on this and like um, it's going in a good direction. Like we're finally understanding like maybe why things happened the way that they did in the past. Okay, so let's get a clarifier on death. Ooh. Three of Wands. So starting to see the possibility of a new future and moving away from the past here. Um, moving away from past energy stuff that we've outgrown that just don't have any place in our life anymore. And maybe there is a new person that's come in here, like I said earlier, and you can like really see a future with them. Like the possibilities are endless. I don't know why I just felt drawn to say that, but it's like you just kind of can see like where things are starting to go and like you really um, are excited about it. Okay, let's get a clarifier on the magician. I feel like these are all turning into like romance readings. 
Okay, so investing in a new direction here with the Daughter of Pentacles, like a solid, stable opportunity coming in. Maybe this person is younger than you. Um, but just like really seeing the potential in something and seeing what, what it can grow into and maybe feeling like almost like healed or the possibility of becoming healed through this relationship. Like maybe there's like a healing energy about this person, um, but they just seem like really solid, stable. I get like almost like, um, like a very good character, um, very just like honest and sweet and wanting to like build. Um, there's like a kindness here coming through with that card. Um, but someone that you really feel like is a stable, solid opportunity that you can build with here. Well, let's get one more clarifier for the magician, but it's wanting to like build a new path here. The 10 of swords, so kind of walking away from, it's kind of like saying goodbye to whatever this energy is of the past, to like, um, and moving on from it. Like I feel like all the mental torment from the past is finally just going to like go away. Like any like tough situations that you've dealt with. Um, also too, maybe this person is really um, physically attractive. Maybe you met them online. I'm getting that with the magician, but um, some of you are really drawn to physically attractive, but there's also like a sweetness about this person. Um, there's a confidence about this person. There's like a solid energy about this person. Um, could be a fire sign or earth sign as well coming in. Um, this person might also seem like they have some kind of like, um, kind of like more of a powerful energy or maybe they're like, good at manifesting or creating, um, like maybe they're like an active person, they take action on things, very decisive, but I feel like they're very clear and honest as well. Um, and it's just kind of like moving away from the past, like choosing to finally just let it go and kind of let things start to flow in here, some fresh energy. Very interesting. So that's towards the end of um, okay, and we have Father of Cups at the bottom of the deck, so you might be a water sign, um, but I just see you kind of opening up your heart a little bit more. Maybe your heart has been closed off in the past, and maybe you're willing to start fresh here. Okay, so let's get um, some advice from spirit. Advice from spirit for pile three. Inhale, exhale. So focus on your breathing, maybe get into meditation. Focus on letting go of the past to bring in fresh energy. Pull yourself forward and release. You already are. So maybe if you feel like I don't know, maybe you feel like you have to get to a certain place for this person or whatever, but I wouldn't worry about it because I don't think that this person like I think this person likes you for who you are now. Um like you already are good enough as well. Um, that's coming through, that message is coming through. Um, like you already have what you need, like you have the stability, like you already have, like you have the nine of cups here, like you have everything that you want. I feel like we just need that, we're looking for that romance here. Um, so I think that the energy that you have now is what has attracted this person in. So don't, if you've been feeling like maybe you lack something in order to move forward in this relationship, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, I think that this person likes you for who you are at this moment. 
reflect. Just kind of get in touch with uh, your more emotional side. Um, make sure your heart and mind are in balance here. Kind of focus on getting that balance. Um, you also might have an intuitive connection with the person that is coming in here or the new situation that's coming in here. Um, you guys also might mirror each other. Like you might feel like you're um, almost the same person. Like you just might have very similar interests or thought processes, thought processes, processes. <laughs> um, you might, uh, honestly, you might be more like really surprisingly similar. Um, or you might just feel like kindred spirits in a way. But um, I feel like Spirit is saying just kind of take notice of those little things. Let those be like little signals to show you that uh, you're on the right path. Um, maybe even this person is a twin flame here um, or a soulmate. Okay, bottom of the deck is celebrate the little things. So, you know, onward and upward. As little things come in, make sure you celebrate them, have that gratitude. Um, it'll keep your mood high, it'll keep your vibration high, um, and then it'll keep you out of like this super um, like future-oriented mentality. Like it'll keep you more in the now, more in the present. Um, so that maybe you just don't skip over the good times. Like say maybe you're chasing an outcome here, but don't forget to stop and like smell the roses along the path and enjoy all the little moments um, that are gonna be coming up for you this month. Okay, let's get some final messages for you. Pile two. guidance so that is coming in here so pay attention to signs symbols colors um, like butterflies flowers dreams um, angel numbers stuff like that uh, coming in insight from spirit guides from your own intuition your higher self also too this might be divinely guided you might be divinely guided right now towards this person as in uh, we also saw that here with the Wheel of Fortune and fate being involved. We've got uh, breath, again, more breathing, so make sure you're breathing. Focus on your health, focus on your mental health. Um, maybe try some yoga. If you don't really do yoga, if you do, maybe like really get into it. Um, or focus on breath work, meditation. Just kind of like, it's gonna help you get like mental clarity. It's gonna help you ground here um, so that you can kind of like loosen up stuff that's kind of like holding you down and holding you back. All right. One more message, rise. Okay, so with this guy, guy, girl, whatever, um, with the open arms here, I feel like um, we're starting to open up again emotionally as well um, and kind of wanting like some freedom to start fresh without like any baggage from the past, just kind of fly free here. Um, so do what you can to focus on like raising your vibration, raising your energy, releasing things that kind of hold you down and tie you down. Held is at the bottom of the deck. So um, I think that there's this energy of wanting to emotionally connect with somebody um, here. So um, it looks like you're on the right path as well there. Um, but also to make sure you take some time to take care of yourself and nourish yourself, give yourself what you need emotionally. 
Um, be kind to yourself. Um, this energy of unconditional love is coming through as well here. So practice having unconditional love with yourself. Um, just being really kind and gentle with yourself as well. I feel like maybe um, you've been kind of burning or throwing your energy into all kinds of things. Um, other things like external and so maybe we need to pour a little bit more energy into self and like nourishing like our emotional body a little bit here okay pile two this is all i've got for you today um hopefully this was helpful if it was i would love it if you left a comment down below um or like the video if you haven't already please subscribe um, again, if you'd like to book a private reading, information on how to do that is down below in the description box. Um, and then if you're interested in any of these decks or crystals or whatever, um, they're all available in the shop at sagecentaurus.com. Links are down below in the description box. All right, Pile 2, I wish you the best. Have a great September, and I will see you in your next reading. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. You guys chose this awesome smoky quartz sphere and the... Serpent Fire Tarot. And we'll go ahead and get into your reading, see what's coming up for you in the month of September 2022. We're going to start with the tarot, get some clarifiers as needed, and then advice from spirit. Um, if you're interested in this tarot deck or the crystals here, they're all available in the shop. Links are down below in the description box. So too, if you're interested in a private reading, um, links are down below to book that. I offer uh, live Zoom readings as well as pre-recorded readings, so whatever works best for you. So let's take a look at what's coming in for you in the month of September. File 3, September 2022. Swords reversed. Crossing the Quarant, Seven of Pentacles. So those are challenges or things in your favor. Up in the mind, Queen of Pentacles. Basis of the situation, Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Five of Cups in the near future. Past, Five of Swords. Ten of Pentacles in the um, attitudes position, environment, eight of wands, three of cups in hopes and fears, and the outcome is the six of pentacles. That's good. Okay, let me just make sure, okay, we're all here, and then we have judgment as well. Again, three of pentacles. So it looks like we're in a situation where we're like in build mode here um and maybe feeling like there's been this lack it's like in the mind we have all these intentions for greatness and for building something really really solid and something that's going to be paying dividends in the future um financial opportunity is kind of the focus here like focus on stability and independence and um getting what you need financially um, and maybe feeling like it was a really rough go more recently um, and kind of like trying to get out of this lack mentality that might be that might have come forward as a result of things just kind of being really challenging um, and maybe feeling really defeated in the past here um, like you can't get through to people or like just feeling like 
kind of like you went through a little bit of a rough patch here with the five of swords so with the five of pentacles here though just kind of feeling like this we have like this lack as a result of this situation and we're just trying to move through that here um trying to get away from that however we can uh, especially with the queen of pentacles up in the mindset um maybe just feeling like cut off from your resources or feeling like stuff is really slowly happening or like um i honestly just feel like we're trying to move past this um and with the page of swords reversed um i honestly think it's like a lack of clarity on something um and maybe not thinking something completely through like really not um looking at the source of the problem so much like um in the mindset it's kind of like not really wanting to like get super deep into like understanding what's going on it's like this energy of like just wanting to move past things um And across by that is the seven of pentacles. So this, yeah, it's like wanting to like not focus on what has happened or how we got into that situation a little bit um, and kind of wanting to invest in moving forward here and like plant some fresh seeds of intention and just kind of like move on to like better energy. Um, Ten of Pentacles and Attitude matches up with the Queen of Pentacles. It's like eyes on the prize. We want to build. We want like massive stability here. We want this to be a prosperous, abundant um, venture or path or journey that we're going on here. And it's like all systems go in the environment. So I feel like we're moving past whatever blockages there were here um, in the past um, by maybe taking like a fresh perspective on things. Um, and maybe not fo choosing to focus too much on the past, just kind of like moving past that energy and um, throwing our energy into new things here. Um, I feel like though, in the next couple of weeks, there might be this tendency to focus on missed opportunities from the past um, and maybe beating yourself up a little bit about that. I wouldn't worry about it. Maybe you're going to be feeling like you're just behind um, where you should be. Um, but there are, there are opportunities here that we're not looking at because we're looking at the ways that things kind of fell away. So um, if you feel like you're dipping into that energy, advice is always to just kind of remember that there's other opportunities out there. You're not falling behind. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. Um, also, too, there's this uh, energy like rejection is divine protection is coming to mind so maybe you needed to shift your focus to something else here um, in the past and so there were blockages that kind of came up that made you feel a little bit stifled or like having a little bit of lack here in one area of your life because your energy was much more needed in a different area of your life as well so don't feel like there is a missed opportunity here even though there I see us kind of wanting to like kind of indulge in that disappointment in the near future um, about two weeks out half like midway through uh, September hopefully I haven't been saying August the whole time um, <laughs> So we have 10 of pentacles, eyes on the prize, like we're not losing sight of this. So this energy of dedication, devotion to the path ahead. It looks like a creative endeavor or like some kind of like uh, enterprise. Maybe you own your own business. Maybe you're building your own business. Um, maybe you're just like really, really focused on investing or making money at the moment. Um, and it's like nothing's gonna break that focus here, which is why I feel like there's this tendency to kind of dip in and like maybe feel a little bit sad about some lack that maybe happened, um, maybe a tendency to blame oneself a little bit, but just try to move past that energy. We'll get a clarifier on that, but it's like the environment in September is like all systems go with the eight of wands. It's like popping off, okay? So this focus, eyes on the prize, is paying off here. Three of cups coming in, this energy of wanting to celebrate and have a good time and be feeling like the energy is more harmonious, things are flowing, creative energy is kind of flowing within you, your heart's lit up, 
um, you're feeling very like inspired um, and supported, supported by your community, your tribe, people are starting to come um, together in support of you, want to celebrate you, want to celebrate success, celebrate together. Um, and then you may be making a few new friends here. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. So finally getting back that energy that you've been putting out. Okay, moving away from this lack and starting to dip into the abundance that you've had at the top of your mind for quite some time. Um, and feeling like you have a new lease on life, like a fresh start. And maybe ha starting to get those insights um, as to where like, like seeing the seeing the like fifty thousand foot view of like why things maybe happened the way they did here. I feel like right now we're kind of like I don't want to look at it. I just want to move forward here with the page of swords in reverse. And I feel like once we get to um, a place where um, we're starting to get that energy reciprocating and you know stuff coming back in that we're putting out that stability coming in finally feeling like things are in balance things are in flowing like oh my gosh here we go finally you might start to get an idea of why things kind of rolled out the way that they did here um like a higher understanding here um and you might feel like you have a new lease on life like um kind of just seeing everything really clearly why things happened the way that they did, kind of having like a higher understanding of all of that and feeling like knowing like not to repeat what happened in the past if it can be avoided um, or just kind of like feeling like maybe it was something that just couldn't be avoided. Maybe it was just the overall balance of energy and like once you hit this judgment energy you're going to be less hesitant to dip into that five of cups like and feel like sad about maybe missed opportunities and be like well i understand everything happens for a reason and you're going to understand the reasons why um, things maybe happen the way that they did here and just kind of like moving forward and like with renewed energy new understanding new appreciation and kind of like really like having a a stronger understanding of what you are truly capable of like the magic you're truly capable of making here um, in the 3d um, it's like this renewal this rebirth it's like maybe you felt like things were kind of dying out and you maybe maybe you were even getting like really worried about it um, but you can like I see this energy of perseverance here, eyes on the prize, and it's just you've never lost focus of that. And it's like understanding the power of the mind and thoughts and like things that you think about come into reality. So it's like having like this renewed faith almost in like energy in the universe and manifestation and the law of attraction as well here with judgment in the outcome just like a lot of appreciation a lot of new downloads a lot of new understanding is coming in and the abundance is going to start to flow again for you towards the end of september okay let's get a few clarifiers here pile three i had to check if we we're still recording i'd be so devastated if we were not <laughs> Clarifiers for pile three. We're gonna use the Way Home Tarot, which is also available in the shop. Okay, let's get a clarifier on the uh, Page of Swords reversed. Okay, we've got the Two of Swords, so not want, really wanting to look at something, like not wanting to like decide either way as to what happened. Um but kind of feeling like things are changing and maybe it's just like we don't need to look, like dwell on the past here we just need to move forward towards like uh where this clarity where this illumination is guiding us where this like authentic joy is pulling us okay let's get a clarifier on the five of cups I just felt the need to shuffle again, I don't know. <laughs> Five of Cups here. Clarity, clarifier on the Five of Cups, please. Shuffle. 
shifting perspective, okay? So, let me get one more. Oh, sorry, my dog is like snoring on the floor here. Okay, we've got the Sun of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so kind of like uh, feeling like things are moving forward here, but um, really trying to focus on getting a new perspective onto where things are going and maybe starting to like Maybe also feeling like maybe we need to be a little bit more receptive here to kind of let things flow in, maybe not push so hard. Um, but I just see that the, we're focusing on like loss and the energy of the past here. But with the Ten of Swords being the Ten, um, there's nowhere but up. So it's like the end of that turmoil um, is finally coming in uh, two weeks from now. Sorry, you guys, I had a bit of a distraction. Um, my other dog is really old and handicapped, so she's gonna start like screaming <laughs> for my attention. Um, so I feel like um, the end, like this turmoil is finally, like we're finally moving away from this like lack, feeling of lack, um, halfway through August here. Um, maybe shifting perspective a little bit and finally getting, um, maybe like a, some tidbits of clarity, but I just feel like um, try to stay focused on just being receptive and not kind of like fighting your way forward. Like you're you're putting out the right vibe here with the pentacles, the ten of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. Like your energy is, is, is aligning. So maybe just get some rest if you can um, to kind of move through this and remove your focus from the five of cups. Um, I, I feel like things are coming in like things are gonna start to change right here this is like where the transition begins is like midway through um, do I keep saying August I'm September I'm sorry if I do keep saying August I just <laughs> anyway um, so midway through things are going to change and maybe you're gonna feel some renewed energy and um, we can move forward um, Maybe relight the passion, um, try to get, maybe gain a little bit of clarity on as to why things are kind of, were happening that way. But the true clarity, I feel like is going to come in towards the end of uh, September here. Okay. Let's look at the Six of Pentacles. Nine of Wands in reverse. So feeling like you don't have to fight your way uphill here. Um, kind of releasing the burden a little bit, like maybe taking a deep breath, like you don't have to fight so hard, you don't have to press so hard. Um, things are gonna start to flow forward towards you. Maybe you're gonna start to see like next steps. Like you're not gonna feel like you're lost in the dark here. You're gonna feel like, um, like things are just starting to flow. Things are becoming more clear. Like it's not such a, like a, this energy of perseverance not like being in this constant energy of perseverance and fighting and pushing it's like things are just going to start flowing back to you and it's like we don't have to push so hard here okay six of pentacles one more clarifier please six of pentacles <laughs> so double down um things are going to start flowing i mean i think if the spirit just saying it is what it is things are going to start flowing your way we're moving from lack into the energy of abundance and flow and having what we need when we need it um so i guess that's all we need to know there um, bottom of the deck is the mother of cups so getting in touch with your intuition as well is going to help you just kind of like Focus on what brings you like emotional calmness, happiness. Um, maybe like you, you use your intuitive skills in your work here and maybe those are sharpening as well here for you um, this month. Um, or maybe your creative skills more like 
right brain is going to like come to the forefront instead of like left brain pushing, pushing, pushing linear masculine. Maybe energy is shifting into more like feminine receptive here um, as well. Okay, let's get some advice from spirit for pile three. Advice from spirit for pile three. Stop and let it grow all around you for a bit. Okay, so that's another ping to like stop pushing. Let things flow. I feel like we've been pushing, pushing, pushing so much um, and see nothing but lack and um, we don't wanna get burnt out here. So just kind of take a breath. Your energy is in the right place, recognize that and just let things kind of come into balance and grow a little bit around you. Um, you're going to see the fruits of your labor, labor start to bloom here. Trust in the process. Emerge. So again, things are going to start popping up for you this month. Um, things that, seeds that you've planted with the seven of pentacles here. Things are starting to come to fruition here. And maybe you're going to start to get more recognition too. Again, emerge like you're going to become more visible like people are going to want to support you want to support your journey um, get connected with you here more people are going to find out about you find out about what you're doing um, so things are starting to come together in the month of September do I keep saying August I'm sorry if I do I just I don't know what's going on in my brain <laughs> what are you waiting for we're waiting for things to come through <laughs> Um, so maybe if there's things that other things that you've been thinking about doing, but your energy has been kind of focused on, um, pushing maybe into what feels like brick walls. Maybe there's other things you want to take a look at doing right now, um, that bring you joy as well. Um, and let's see, it's okay to feel feelings. Yeah, so make sure you process how you feel about this. I feel like this is speaking to a page of swords reverse a little bit, like not wanting to kind of look at things, um, just kind of wanting to push forward without um, focusing on the struggles. Um, and I think that especially too with the Mother of Cups showing up here, like where Spirit's asking us to kind of get in touch with our feelings a little bit more. Um, more of our receptive side here a little bit. Um, maybe that's going to help you kind of figure out what the right flow or balance of energy is. Maybe we've been too much in the left brain. Maybe we need to flow into the right brain and kind of have this more receptive energy. Also, too, receptive is going to help you with the Six of Pentacles. It's receiving what you're getting, what you're putting out there. So I feel like we've been directive and pushing and pushing and pushing. And now is the time to jump into the hangman energy of receptive, receiving new perspective, kind of understanding how the balance and flow is going to look um, to get you into abundance. Okay. Be gentle with yourself. Yeah, don't beat yourself up here with the Five of Cups things happens it's just honestly everything is always a balance of energies okay so something needs to shift in order for something else to move forward or shift so um, we need to create space somehow we need to just kind of switch up the flow a little bit so be gentle with yourself don't beat yourself up things happen for a reason I feel like we're gonna understand why we're gonna have to see the bigger picture here um, coming up towards the end of September um, so yeah so be nice Okay. All right, let's get any more messages for you. Fruits and wings here. Any other messages here for pile? No in frame here or what? Okay. For pile three. Messages for Pile 3 Spirit. I 
honestly feel like a lot of weight is going to lift at the end of September. It's gonna be like, oh my God, thank God. It's gonna be like a relief. Okay, so any other messages here for pile three? Rise. So let go of baggage, let go of things that are holding you back, self-limiting beliefs. Um, so that you can fly free here. Maybe open up the heart space a little bit more with the arms out like that. That makes me think of opening up the heart chakra, especially with the mother of cups showing up here and it's okay to feel your feelings. Something with the heart chakra needing to open, maybe falling into more receptive energy to um, let yourself fly free a little bit, free from these burdens. Um, let the energy flow a little bit better. The world, so a sh or sorry, the passage card showed up. The, the world card in here looks very similar. <laughs> um, passage, so healing. We are healing um, in September. We are moving on from struggles to um, smooth sailing. This is very much like the, the Six of Swords energy, kind of going from something like tumultuous and like rough and like, holy shit, what's going on, to feeling like, okay, things are getting better, I'm healing, I'm moving on, kind of repairing this lack mentality as well, learning to see abundance, learning to um, heal and move on from that. Also the energy of water here, um, Mother of Cups is water energy, heart chakra, water energy, like opening up um, your heart space a little bit is going to allow for healing, getting into a receptive energy. This reading is screaming receptive energy. So if you feel like you've been pushing and in a directive, more masculine energy, doesn't matter whether male or female, we have both um, fire signs, air signs tend to be more masculine and water signs, earth signs tend to be more feminine. Um, but it all kind of depends on your entire astrology chart anyway, but we all run on those different energies, those two energies. Um, every single day in different balances. So um, I feel like spirit is saying, keep focus on getting into receptive energy, get in touch with more feminine energy, right brain energy, receptive energy, open the heart a little bit. Um, that is going to help kind of clear out this lack here and create abundance for you. Any last messages, Spirit, for Pile 3 for September 2022? Breath. Okay, so breathing, flying free, um, taking time to just ground, breathe, exhale frustrations, exhale what holds you back, and just kind of focus on the future, focus on becoming lighter. Um, lifting burdens, lifting like, if you're doing heavy lifting and pushing, I feel like time to kind of pull back a little bit, even though I feel like that seems counterintuitive. It's, it's all energy. So like you could just switch over to more receptive, which is not pushing so hard and more like receiving uh, type of energy, a feminine energy. And things could just start flowing. I, it's so, it seems counterintuitive, I know, but trust that sometimes that's, we just need to shift things um, that way uh, in order to bring things into balance so things can just kind of flow. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the star, okay? So feeling like this month, like you're gonna be really connecting in with your path here, like maybe even divinely guided. We also have the energy of water here as well again. So receptive, heart chakra, focus on those two things here in the month of September. Um, spirit guides are around, but I feel like if you, your intuition is also going to lead you uh, to where you need to be and to tap into that, it's easier to tap into that when you're more in a receptive um, mindset or more receptive energy. Okay, I won't say receptive again. <laughs> Thank you so much, Pile 3. This is where I'm going to leave your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, if it resonated, please leave a comment down below or like the video. That would be really helpful for me. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be awesome. 
Um, again, if you're interested in any of these decks, they're all available in my shop at sagecentaurus.com. Links are down below in the description box. Same thing with the crystals. Um, and if you're interested in booking a reading with me, uh, information on how to do that is below as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in your next reading. Bye-bye.